Hey, Entre fans, welcome to another Freebie Friday. It's Ken Cowood from ClickFix.io coming at you with another conversion trigger. So if you've been paying attention to the marketing world in the last year to 18 months, you'll have seen that there is something new that's happening on a lot of the funnels that are being built on ClickFunnels. And that something new isn't the little proof um, elements that are popping up here in the left corner of this page. It's actually the fact that when you start a video, or even if you haven't started it, as you scroll down the page, a lot of the major gurus and people who are spending a lot of money on paid ads are having their videos follow you down the page. So this particular one is from a guy named Luke Thompson at Aim Higher Academy. Um, not particularly well known, perhaps. This is another one from Jim Edwards, who uh, works with Russell Brunson on a lot of the Funnel Fridays uh, that they do over there at ClickFunnels. So he's a major copywriter. But the thing that really got me interested in having our devs uh, develop this and make it something that was available for free uh, to all of our ClickFix.io members was the fact that Frank Kern has also begun to use this in his marketing. And you know that Frank tests everything. And so when Frank starts to do something, it's probably time for us to start testing it in our funnels as well. So you can see that the concept is pretty simple. Basically, as you scroll down the page, uh, the video gets smaller and is put into one of, you know, some location on the page. Most people put it in one of the four corners. Um, and if that person happens to scroll back up, it snaps back into place, into its original place. Now, after a bit of work on our part, we've added the ability for you to do the exact same thing with your pages. You can see here that I have a large version of the video in the bottom right corner. And if we jump over into the editor, I'll show you just how easy it is for you to adjust this so that it makes sense uh, for your pages, depending on uh, exactly what, what you're showing. So let's break down the short code. It's a floating element short code. It has to uh, therefore target an element on the page. The way we find out uh, the ID of an element is by using the click fix Chrome extension. And we come here to element IDs. We can see that it is element number four. But because of the way Entreport is built, uh, there can be dozens of element number fours on the page depending on how long it is. So we need to specify which block we want to work with. So this is element four in block ID. Uh, that ends in D485, right? So we come back here to our editor and we say exactly that. We want to turn element four into a floating element, uh, but only the element four of D485. We want to trigger the on scroll, and the on scroll simply means that it's not going to fire until somebody scrolls past the original element position rather than starting off um, as being a floating element. Right, and it all, and that on scroll parameter also tells it to pop back into its original slot when somebody gets back up to uh, where it was originally located. Next thing we do is we determine the width. Uh, this is in pixels, so I said, hey, maybe I have some um, screenshots or um, some other things that I want people to be able to read, even if it's uh, the smaller version of the video. So I chose 500, uh, but you can see that. Uh, you know, let's take a look at what 300 might look at. And I also said, okay, well, I want mine in the bottom right because on this particular uh, template, we don't have any kind of chat widgets or anything like that. Um, you can see, uh, of course, that uh, people like Luke have, you know, things like this proof source, uh, these little proof pop-ups in the bottom left, which is why he didn't put his in the um, bottom left corner and instead chose the top left. Um, Jim doesn't have any elements, but for whatever reason, he decided to put it on the right and uh, Frank has his in the top left. Um, but this is kind of one of those things that you'll you'll want to test. Uh, generally, people read from left to right, so uh, maybe having it uh, in the left on the left corner is a good idea. And we don't have any proof elements, so let's go ahead and just swap ours to the uh, top left, and let's see what that looks like. So again, what, what changes we made? All we did is we changed the width of the element, and we went ahead and said let's put it in the top left instead of the bottom right. Go back here, we refresh the page, and we can start the video. You can see that it doesn't affect the, uh, the way that the video plays. And as we scroll down, you can see that the video is still playing. Um, it's still playing, and as we scroll down, it pops over to the top left, and it follows us. All right, so you can see just how simple it is to deploy something like this on any of your 
on your board pages. Now, today we've talked about making this a sticky or a floating uh, video element that follows you down the page, but because of the way we've designed this, this can be applied to any element you want. So technically I could uh, make this button a floating element that would follow me down the page. Um, we also have floating column and floating uh, block. So if you prefer to make an entire section or a piece of a, you know, more than just one element uh, float down the page as it were, like if you really wanted to, um, we could actually grab the column here and make it float down the page so that way they're always seeing not just the video but also the call to action button itself. Um, so we could do that in a variety of different ways. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them below this video and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And more importantly, if you have any interesting use cases that you'd like to see me experiment with uh, to use this or any of our other short codes, go ahead and drop those suggestions down uh, below this video as well. And we will start to build out our freebie Fridays based on what it is that you, the Entreport fan base, wants to see. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And if you like the content that you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that helps the channel grow and it helps you get the information as soon as it comes out. As always, this is Ken Cowood from ClickFix.io. We'll see you next week.